Hey loves, today I'm sharing my DIY leave-in conditioner. This is my second time making this leave-in and I seriously have found my staple. Having dry, fine hair with fizzy roots is not always easy for me just to pick up and purchase whatever product I choose. So I take real pride into making my own. The ingredients are here to give the hair strength, fight frizz, condition, and thicken your hair while feeding the scalp and hair follicles. It's packed with potassium, iron, magnesium, calcium, and a ton of minerals and nutrients that will help to promote and maintain hair growth. After bringing the two cups of water to boil, I add in the slippery elm root first. And after about a minute or two, I go ahead and add in the dandelion root. I allow that to boil on low, low, low heat just for about 10 minutes before adding in the marshmallow root powder. After a few minutes, I go ahead and sprinkle in the marshmallow root powder, giving it a really, really good stir just to make sure everything is mixed in well and there's no clumps left. And I keep it on low and I do keep stirring every few seconds or so because it does get thick and I do not want it to burn. So I keep this on low, low, low heat and just allow it to simmer for about five to seven minutes. And then I do turn the heat off and sprinkle in the hibiscus flower. I did not want to boil the hibiscus because I do know it's a flower, so it's pretty much light and tender. I want to take care of it. So I just add it in and I do keep the pot on the burner so it still is a bit, obviously it's warm. And just keep stirring until I get my nice beautiful color. And then once I'm satisfied, I'm ready to strain it. Now. The first time I added everything to a stocking cap to strain it, that was a big mistake because it was very, very hot. So first, as soon as I take it off the burner, I put it through the strainer and as the liquid is still hot, it's still gonna be a bit runny, but once it cools down, it will get even more thick. So first strain it and then put it through a stocking cap. That is a smart way to do it. I'm telling you because the mixture is hot and you do not want to burn yourself. Of course, I strain the remaining bits once it has cooled down just to make sure I am getting everything out of this bad boy and nothing is going to be wasted.
the star of the show the hibiscus marshmallow leave-in and i applied all over down from my roots all the way down to my hair my hair is getting longer so you may not see all of it which is a good thing which is a really good thing make sure i get my edges get everything and as you can see already like the frizz the frizz is not even there which is good when you apply your products and your hair does not frizz up your cuticles lay everything lays down that's how you know that product is for your hair also too do not mind the red color because of course the hibiscus flowers turns it to a nice really really cute red but it will not dry you won't once it's dried you won't see it this is my second time doing it so you will not see it much less for the whole week because i don't manipulate my hair i just let it be i don't fluff it out i don't like to fluff i love that is it Time to clean up. Mm -mm. And we are back again. Yes. And my hair was dry. No matter what, my hair, when it's properly washed, hydrated, moisturized, it will always dry with a nice wet look. And no frizz. Make sure you guys look at that. Frizz control. And also, I want to show you guys, I started with a full bottle, and after today's wash and go, I ended up with a half a bottle. So this recipe um, should be good for a lot of people for one use or two uses, and I keep mine in the fridge.